Hi, welcome to lecture 6 in the series of 8051 microcontroller programming and interfacing. For more information, you can visit us at www.jcbrolabs.org. You can also download the necessary software required for this lecture from that website. In this video, we will talk about pin description and output and input output port programming and we will have an introduction of Protus, how to simulate the software and uh, a real program on real hardware. So let's start with the pin description of the 8051 microcontroller. So uh, this is the pin description of 8051 microcontroller. So it is a 40 pin IC or you can also use the same pin description for 8052 microcontroller. Uh, here pin 20 and pin 40, pin 20 acts as ground and pin 40 as acts as VCC. Now there are some of the necessary parts, we'll look one by one. First is this pin number 18 and 19. This pin number 18 and 19 are used to connect the oscillator and there is a specific circuit for the oscillator to connect to the microcontroller. So uh, we use a crystal oscillator and our crystal oscillator can be uh, used in the up to a range of 33 megahertz and most of the time in most general application uh, crystal oscillator of frequency uh, 12 megahertz is used so this is a crystal oscillator we need to connect two capacitor across it in parallel so they form an oscillator circuit and in between this is ground and this one shows to pin number 19 and this one goes to pin number 9 this is pin number 18 and pin number 9 so this is the uh, crystal oscillator so this is the oscillator and the value typical values uh, of these uh, capacitors are around 33 picofarad so we can use 33 picofarad 30 picofarad or 20 picofarad capacitor values uh, which are available in the market and this is a oscillator so there is no positive or negative terminal in the oscillator you can connect it either way so this is the oscillator circuit diagram which needs to be connected if you want to create a real hardware by your own to the 8051 microcontroller then uh, uh, in all these lectures we will be discussing 89s 5.2 microcontroller series and the more about it uh, its pins can be discussed in the data sheet available now coming to the reset circuit these are some of the important and which needs to be done if we want to create our own so uh, the reset circuit means whenever in the series of 5.1 or 5.2 micro a uh, high pulse is sent or uh, uh, this pin or one is applied here the microcontroller reset reset means all the content uh, register content goes to zero zero uh, its default values and uh, program counter turns to zero zero x so it start reading the data from the starting So let's have a look how this uh, reset circuit works. So we need to provide a plus 5 at the reset circuitry. So the circuit goes like this and this is grounded. This is plus 5 VCC because the typical operating voltage of this microcontroller is plus 5 and this goes to pin number 8 of this uh, it is a five one, not pin number pin number nine of this uh, eight zero five one microcontroller to pin nine and uh, we connect a push button here this is a push button so as soon as we uh, when we are not uh, uh, this push button is off this pin is connected to the ground and as soon as we press this push button this pin connected to 
which is our so our controller resets itself so these are some of the basic circuitry uh, which are used uh, in microcontroller now we have four ports port 0 port 1 port 2 and port 3 all the ports or pins of all the ports are bidirectional that means they can be acts as an input or they can be acts as an output and by default when it is reset 0 0 is written there now if we talk about port 0 and port 2 so they have dual function port 0 also, also accepts the address lines address lines means if we have connected an external memory or ROM so these pins will be connected to the those particular lines so this address latch enable pin actually use to uh, enable this address latch that means uh, if this pin is 1 now uh, at that time these pins acts as the address and they don't function like a normal input output port so they provide uh, address to the external ROM location and uh, similarly uh, this port 1 has normal input output operation this port 3 have normal input output operation along with it is used for serial communication receiving and transmitter external interrupt control and timer operation count, timer or counter operations and read and write of the memory so these are some of the uh, other functions of it again if you are making your own hardware uh, this pin number 31 plays a critical role here this uh, pin number 31 if ground is connected at this pin number 31 or no voltage is connected so by default this 8052 microcontroller reads the external memory addresses so external ROM is accessed by the program counter now if this is pin is set to plus VCC or our code is written inside the ROM of this uh, 8052 microcontroller then we need to connect a plus 5 supply here so remember if you are not using any external connected uh, uh, memory you need to connect a plus 5 supply here and these all other pins can be left open so this was the brief intro of this uh, uh, pin description of this 8051 microcontroller now other than that uh, the next introduction was to the protest so uh, we will do it later now first we will write a program and then we will run in step by step so let's open our key now we have uh, we are familiar with how to provide delay we are familiar with how to do input output programming and most of the things are done so now we will do a new project so let's first define our uh, program objective and then uh, that can be uh, uh, further uh, discussed so our proje program objective is very simple uh, 8 LEDs are connected 8 LEDs are connected to port 2 so our uh, objective is write a program to alternate blink to alternate blink LEDs at an interval of at an interval of 500 millisecond so remember we already have done a program uh, for one second uh, with the clock frequency of 12 megahertz and let's assume f oscillator frequency is 12 megahertz so now here comes our trick uh, when we talk about like we need to connect an LEDs to or we want to blink an LED so LEDs can be blinked with 0 or 1 depending on how the LEDs are connected so first thing goes to the circuit diagram so LEDs are nothing but a diode 
and they can be distinguished with uh, one LED has uh, one bigger lag and one shorter lag so bigger one lag is positive and the shorter lag is negative so if we want to turn this LED on we need to apply plus 5 here and negative here so in our microcontroller if we have connected ground here then we need to provide plus 1 to the specific pin of the microphone in order to turn this LED on. If it is vice versa, that means if this particular pin is connected to VCC, then we need to provide a zero uh, in order to make it on. So this is how happens. So now we have a hardware circuit uh, in which uh, LEDs are connected to the port two, and we will try to run a program so now prior to run the program now this hardware is connected discussed now if you want to create by your own so uh, my suggestion is connect uh, with a resistor and then put a LED and then connect to ground so uh, in this way it will be better and you can use a hundred ohm resistance to any particular pin so suppose this is the pin number 21 and you have connected 100 ohm resistor then LED and then ground and so you have connected 8 LEDs in series and goes up to pin number 28 and all these 8 LEDs are connected like this and so now we need to send only 00, 0 at all the pins now our objective is uh, uh, this is the hardware description now coming to the programming part before programming we need to send certain data to the port so now let's understand how to do that we want to blink LEDs alternatively alternate means uh, suppose this is the port pins 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 and 8 and this is pin number 0 pin number 1 2 3 4 5 6 and 7 so these are port 2 pins so this is pin 0 port 2 pin 1 pin 2 and so on now we want to connect the leds alternative alternatively means one is on and another one uh, adjacent to is off and after some time it is off and adjacent to it is on so in other sense we need to if we send 0 1 0 1 0 1 and 0 1 so one LED will be on and one LED will be off and after uh, 500 millisecond delay after 500 millisecond delay the one which will become 0 1 0 1 0 1 0 1 and then again 500 millisecond delay this loop will keep on repeating itself so this is our logical flow like how our program will go like this so in uh, keel we generally write program in hexadecimal value so its hexadecimal value will comes out to be 0xaa as we have discussed in first class we need to understand how to convert binary into hexadecimal and vice versa and this will become 0x55 you can try it on your notebooks just to make a combination of 4 it will become 0xxa and this will become uh, 0x55 now we have all the required data now we will go to uh, this keel and we will create a project So let's create example by lesson 6 and let's select the controller 89s52. Okay, and then yes. All these steps we have already discussed. Now let's save it. So lesson 6 for KSM. Now program is done and let's save it. Now go to project and add this file to our current program. Lesson and then lesson 6 and then add and then ok. 
and now because we want to make the hexadecimal file as well so 12 megahertz crystal oscillator frequency and our output create hex file well, now we are done now we will start writing program so we are write we will write org 00h and then we will you move first we will transfer an accumulator 0 55h and then a call delay then move okay we have not transferred it to the port move p2 comma a simple move command and then we will move a into hexadecimal 0 a a h and then move p2 comma a and then we will again call delay and we want to repeat this uh, small portion again and again so sjmp agin again so it will go here and this one so now uh, we will write delay subroutine so for 500 millis for 8 1 millisecond duration we were uh, r2 content was 8 for 500 so r2 content will be uh, 04h not 0h and then it was here to move r1 comma hash 255 here one so if you are having some problem with this delay subroutine uh, refer to our uh, previous lecture lesson 5 for the same in that lesson we have discussed how to provide or how to write subroutine for providing this delay and then here and dj and z r0 comma here and then dj and z r1 comma here one and then dj and z r2 comma here two and then return and then last end so our program is done now let's see it's compiled okay it's compiled with zero zero error uh, so you can try many more other program after that let's now debug it prior to going into that okay so because we want to see the content of p2 so let's say open 42 and let's one by one 10101 and then delay so it's working fine so uh, you can see it's blinking uh, let's reset it and again so now uh, there was a thing like uh, we were not able to say exactly amount of delay which we have provided so let's see how the logic analyzer shows it up so let's close it and make a setup and write at p2 and then close so right now this p2 will show 0 0 to ff so we will change it we will check only one pin output p2.1 that will be better and then close and then let's run it so has run for sufficient time now let's zoom it out okay and go here so still yeah so i hope this is visible to you let's say okay we can change the width of it but uh, we are not getting the uh, let's change to that yeah how it may be more visible to you you can also try to change the weight how to or change it so let's see uh, this from here to here so yes it is all 0 0.5 to uh, 53 seconds so nearly it is giving us a little 500 millisecond so our code is fine as we have 
checked on it now there are several ways either we can directly write on the hardware but uh, suppose uh, if hardware is not available to you you can do one thing there is a protest software on which you can easily uh, simulate all the uh, circuits uh, which we have discussed and you don't need to connect power supply and all those things here too so we will uh, have our some demo and another uh, lecture will provide you we'll have a complete demo circuit of the uh, on of this development board we'll create an entire development board on protus and we'll show you again here so let's uh, make it uh, introduction uh, this is the user area and just click on this peep icon and search uh, 89c51 oh, oh, let's say 51 okay 51 is not here c51 so it will give you um, this 89c51 series ic basically uh, in performance wise both the ic are same now we have connected these leds to this port 2 so what we'll do we'll search for leds and there are several leds but we'll check for if we can get the animated led let's see animated green these are bicolor green yellow red green let's try to use this one uh, let's use only single led and just connect it here and go to right click on it place and then select a terminal and then ground connect it to ground now we can put our hex file which we have generated so double click on the ic this uh, icon will pop up and here uh, select this program file folder icon and then go to the place where you have returned your program here it is open it and then ok now just press this button yes so it is blinking red and uh, from here you can also see all the leds are blinking now stop it and try to make it let's say uh, we connect more leds here so let's copy it uh, let's uh, Copy. Okay, it's not getting pasted. Uh, go into place and component mode from libraries. Cancel. Okay, it's not getting. So type again LED and use animated LED there. Then okay. So let's we are using some of the LEDs so we can get a feeling. Okay, so connect it. Simple connect it. So these are some of the pins here. And the rest of the pins can be connected to ground. So you can make a better. Uh, right now we are just for learning first first, and then hit run. So at a time two LEDs are blinking. So if you not have any hardware, so you can also simulate your program, whether it is correct or not, on Protus as well. Uh, so let's stop it and now go to our real hardware. So uh, because everyone wants to burn your program on real hardware, so there is a catch in real hardware as well. Generally, the programmer which are required to program an uh, 8051IC or 89S51IC those are not generally available so what we have done uh, we have created a small circuit as you can see here okay so 
yeah this is the arduino board and this is our normal 8051 development programs and this is at 9s5 to ic and these are the leds so in this development program all the pins are freely available so we have connected through jumper wires all these leds have been connected to the port too now this arduino program arduino board is acting as a programmer that means we can program our 89s5 to ic through arduino board now in order to do that you need to follow certain steps so let's see them first step is to obviously when as soon as you will connect the arduino board it will start to downloading uh, some of the programs by itself uh, through if internet is on it will download by uh, internet on only and you can try how to run a simple program using our burn a simple program into arduino so first thing you need to do that connect this program uh, connect the pins uh, of this arduino board as shown in this figure that means pin number 2 goes to the reset pin number 3 of the arduino board connected to pin number 8 of the 89s5252 pin number 4 should connect to pin number 7 of 89s52 pin number 5 should go to the pin number 6 of 89s52 so in order to if you want to make your board uh, power up directly from arduino so just connect vcc of this arduino board to the vcc of the board or if you have connected uh, your own so uh, you can take the power supply from arduino board as well and ground of the board to the ground of the arduino now once this is done uh, there is a small program all this uh, procedure uh, is being listed at our website at www.jcbrolabs.org in electronic component design in lesson 2 so you can also have a look uh, from there as well so now once that is done there is a small program which uh, is returned and which is available on internet and on site as well for download just burn this program into the arduino board so once the uploading is done uh, use this particular software this programmer software and then this programmer software will be used to program the hex file which we have generated into the uh, chip so once this setup is done it will become very easy once uh, if you will be doing it for first time it will become a cumbersome job but once the setup is done it will become very easy because ultimate whatever we are doing uh, that have no use if we can't do that particular things on real hardware so if you want to do on hardware this is a price we have to pay uh, so now once the program has been uploaded into the arduino open this software and then run it and then first connect and then press identify chip is detected then open hex folder where we use this open and then click on this upload hex so it will start writing uh, look one by one locations and you have to wait for some time till it uh, finishes uh, all the memory written on the memory location one more thing is if you are make, uh, using a pre-built uh, development board and pressing on identify is not detecting then press the reset switch uh, of the board as we have done now so we have pressed the reset button then this board is detected and your software will write a program into it and then let's wait Done. So, so our programming is done. Now let's see the output. So LEDs are blinking alternatively. 
uh, so, uh, done in the programming and the same was uh, verified with the help of these simulators. Now you can try uh, the same with different different logics and uh, you can try several other programs like uh, uh, running a different kind of patterns uh, on this LED like uh, another example could be if uh, and that can be done by yourself uh, so there are four LEDs 1 2 3 4 5 6 so 0 1 2 3 4 5 6 and 7 so you can write a program first these four LEDs turns on then there is a delay and then remaining four LEDs turns on another program could be first this LED turns on then these two LEDs, then these three LED turns on, and then these four LED turns on, and so on. And then it keeps on blinking one by one. It keeps on uh, stopping one by one. So uh, this program can be done, and it will also help your help to increase uh, your programming skills. So you can try your programs, and if you find any difficulties in them then you can mail us or you can write comment below this video for the same so i hope you understand how to write a program how to simulate and how to burn a real microcontroller with the help of Arduino. so that's it for this video thank you